I'm Ashley Mallory with Nature's Pure Essence, and today I'm going to show you guys how to do a hydrosol. I'm doing a spearmint hydrosol. So you can gather any kind of plant material you prefer, like lavender or peppermint or even oregano to make your hydrosol. And I would recommend using anywhere from a half a pound to a pound of plant material. And you're going to need a big, huge pot, something like this, and a heat-proof ramekin to set your bowl on top of. So just like that, because this is what's going to catch your hydrosol. So my bowl fills about eight cups of water in it. So I'm going to put all my plant material in the bottom of my pot and cover it with about eight cups of water, uh, maybe nine cups at the most. And I'm gonna put, make a well in the middle and put my ramekin and then my bowl on top. Spearmint smells awesome. And I'm using spearmint because I want to use it for my son as well. And peppermint is a little too strong for that. So for um, children 10 and under, I recommend spearmint. So the more you use, the more plant material, the stronger your hydrosol is going to be. and I did it in kind of a circle so you have that well in the middle so now I'm going to put my ramekin my heat proof ramekin right there in the middle so that's about two cups I'm gonna go ahead and do 10 cups. So right now it's just my plant material with about 10 cups of water with my ramekin in the middle. As you can see, the water is right there and you wanna make sure you push it down so it's submerged in the water. So now I'm gonna take my pot and put it on the stove and turn it up to about medium high. And that's pretty high for your plant because we don't want to ruin the plant and burn it because we want to keep all the nutritious value as much as possible and heat will definitely take away from that. So we want to keep our eye on it and as soon as it starts to bubble at all or boil at all, we want to turn it down and put it to a simmer. Actually, we wanna put it just before a simmer, just enough for the water to steam to keep it at a very low heat. So we keep all the nutrition as much as possible in our plants. So while we're waiting for our pot to heat up, go ahead and get some Ziploc bags. I'm using quart size bags and put some ice in about eight bags and I keep four in the freezer and I have four ready to go and I'm going to alternate them because what you do is once your pot heats up and it's about ready right now, you take your bowl and sit it on top of your heat proof ramekin like I showed before and you need a lid for your pot that fits snug and you sit it right on top of here and then you take your bags of ice and right now I've brought my heat back down to low because I want it to be hot enough just to steam. 
So I'm gonna take my bags of ice and put it on top of my lid. So when the steam rises in your pot, the ice cools it and it condenses and drips into your bowl. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna just sit them up so they don't leak everywhere. And they will start to melt. So when they do, I will alternate them with the four bags that I have in my freezer. So that way I'm reusing the same ice and I'm keeping it nice and cool so it condenses well. And I'm probably gonna let this sit for at least four to five hours to make sure I get as much hydrosol as possible. So once I'm done letting my hydrosol build up in my bowl, I'm gonna take it out and put it into a spray bottle so I can mist it all over me when I'm outside and it's really, really hot. Spearmint or peppermint are excellent for cooling you down. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope it was helpful. And if you have any questions, please email me at purify at naturespurescence.com. And if you would like, you are always welcome to purchase a spearmint mist at naturespurescence.com. Thank you guys so much. Y'all have a great day. Bye.